So hello guys, Panagain here, and I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video because I had some uh, work in real life, and yeah, now I'm back to making videos, and you'll see videos every Friday or something, maybe even double. So yeah, in this video I'll show you guys on how to make a gun in Magic Voxel, which is a program in which you can make um a stuff uh, like in Minecraft using blocks and stuff. But the special thing about that is it's is that it's very easy, it's free, it's free real estate, and it you can like um, give many effects to your gun like blue, metallic, glass, water kind of effects and stuff, and you can even make use that to make levels in your game. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So first of all, I would recommend having a sprite editor, uh, like a pixel art maker, actually, uh, to start off. Um, so I would recommend using a sprite. It costs a bit, like about, I don't know how much I forgot. Um, I would recommend using this, but if you don't want to buy this, I have an alternate solution that's equal to a sprite. So what you can do is search for a sprite older versions, and here you can see the these, this version. Um, and yeah, so basically, uh, they were released in 2012, and they're available for free. So they do, like they have all the basic tools that you need uh, to make a gun. And yeah, so you can download that if you don't have want to buy a sprite. And another option for that is so the another option is pixel art, which is basically an online um pixel art too. So there are a lot of crap ton of options but you can scroll through and see what they do and stuff. So I will be leaving a link in the description down below for all this stuff. A sprite and pixel art. And yeah, so that let's now draw the actual gun. So I just go went ahead and drew this gun. You don't have to be very creative, very detailed here. You just need to make a basic outline for a gun. So for example, to show you guys, so I just went ahead and make this gun. Um, and it's pretty basic. The reason why I didn't I didn't make it on camera is because my articles are pretty rubbish and you don't want to see them. Um, so you can go ahead and make something like this. Um, and yeah, so, or you can even draw something like a square gun or something and then later add a detail to it. Something like, maybe two rectangles, yeah, that will work. And then an arch and then probably a dot for that. And then, yeah, and then start modifying it and yeah. So this is the gun that I made. This is like the armrest or something. I don't know what to call that. I'm not a gun expert. This is the handle where you hold it. Uh, this is the trigger. And this is the point where you shoot it. Beside you, something else. So, after that, uh, I'm just quickly going to go ahead and erase this. Oh, no. I'm quickly going to go ahead and erase this. So, yeah. After you did that, you just need to save it as PNG. To do that, press Control plus S. So, I just went ahead and opened it in another file to show you guys how we can save it. Now, after you made your gun, just press Ctrl plus S. Select the page or place where you want to save yourself. Then name your sprite or whatever you want. I'm going to name myself gun123. Then in file type, this is important. Now see carefully. Make sure it's set to P PNG file. And if you're using the online one, um, you can uh, download it in PNG. So basically in PNG, um, the background won't just come like, yeah, only the gun will appear in a sprite. Now, yeah, press OK, and then it's going to save it. Now, let's open our Magic Voxel. So yeah, this is Magic Voxel, the program I was talking about. This is absolutely free to use. I have a link in the description down below. And I would recommend uh, buying a mouse if you're working on a laptop because it makes it a whole lot easier and yeah so basically what you need to do is to basically clear clear out the whole thing just press ctrl plus say if you don't want to raise it manually and then click delete now i'm gonna 
put this stuff side by side. So yeah, basically, um, place your image wherever it is, then drag it, simply drag it into the program, and then boom, you got the gun in it. Now, as you can see right here, it's like that. You can move it up and down, adjust it and stuff. So now to exit this uh, mode, you just need to double click on the object and yep. So on this right corner, as you can see, like uh, that's the area in which you can edit. You can't edit outside of it. So if I try to draw something on top of it, I simply can't. So to fix that, uh, you simply need to click on it and then edit this number. I would recommend setting it to something like 100 by 100 by 100. So yeah, and then click on enter. This is gonna increase the area. Now what I like to do is to basically use this marquee select tool, select everything or you can place control plus A, then click on this move tool, then move it up. As you can see right here, oops, it's moving sideways, so, yep, somewhere in the middle. After moving it up, what I like to do is to just rotate it. To rotate it, click on ROT, and then X-axis. And you can do the same for Y and Z, but I just want for X, so yeah. Then, you after this, just go to the selection tool once again and then click on the scene so now what you need to do is to basically click on this attach it's basically like draw erase and paint and these are as you can see self-explanatory now just go ahead to attach and now there's no color palette in this that we used in here so what I like to do is to press keep pressing alt and then left click on the shade you want so as you can see it move from somewhere around here to here which is the shade of this and now basically just go to the corner one and then keep on adding layers and layers so i just did that wrong as you can see right there i'm gonna press ctrl plus z and then do this thing again so yeah, after you have done it quite a long lot of times and then make it thicker and thicker so you can repeat this process for every single part uh, as you can see right here this thing or what you can do to like cover a lot of age rate ones is to spam click uh, till the right length you want and then on the corner one click keep pressing it and then it makes a giant square now you actually need to set it if to see if it's okay but that's not a big problem, right? And yep. So yep, as you can see right here, like these, this stuff is not just on the corners and yeah. So to just um do like bring it in this thing, click on this. Um, this sets the V to one point, and then drag with with the scroll wheel and then zoom in drag it so that just this area is visible then select the mark you select option and then try to select just that area so to see if you selected the right area oh no once again i need to select it to see if you have selected the right area like scroll and then see if other area selected it's indicated by this box thing now let's go to move one and then move it in the middle and there's one more thing you can do you can press ctrl plus c ctrl plus v to copy it multiple times and then you can once again go in this view select all of this um just a second and then ctrl plus c ctrl plus v and yeah you can repeat that multiple times to cover the whole stuff i'm quickly just gonna like increase this white yet yeah, blue stuff here now I'm gonna select the color uh, no alt alt and then press it the color selected right here then I'm quickly gonna attach the whole thing to it 
Now for the bullet one, I would recommend first um, making it like a three by three. So initial, so like there's a hole in between through which you can put the spawning stuff in. And now this one and then select it. And then move it on the X -ax Z axis, I think. Oh. And yeah, you shouldn't press the left mouse button. Now mine is not centered right now, but you can center yours. And like, I would recommend like having odd numbers of lines, um, depth and stuff, so that you can like make a center out of it and then edit the center. Or if you want, you can have a two block center. Now attach it, select its color, and then make a three by three. So right now you can see it's difficult for me to work with this black. I can't see anything. So what I would do is I would enable edge. And grid just so that I can see everything every single grid block and stuff and then start making it so as you can see right here I just made this which looks good it's not centered right now but yeah you can do that later now for this part um, so before that I was making a gun before making this tutorial and it was pretty difficult for me to like just like make squares and make it thick. So what you want to do is to basically use the select option, line it up perfectly so that the top doesn't get selected, then use it and then boom. Control plus C, Control plus V. Then move it to the right length. The, then control plus C, control plus V again. Control plus C, control plus V. Control plus C, control plus V. So the reason why I'm just not spamming a control plus V is because mm, this uh, prefab is gonna spawn on the first point where I first press control plus uh, C. So yeah, now just do this a couple of times until you f feel like the thickness of it is right and yeah then go to the marquee tool and then yeah see now we're going to do the same for the armrest thing Then after that, as you can see right here, it's on the corner, not in the middle. I would select this whole thing. Now, the good thing about Magic Voxel is that you don't have to like um, uh, select manually all the blocks. It will select every single block in the line which you choose for you. Um, so yeah, you need to do this a couple of times to get all the blocks and this include all that you don't want. Is this include a word? I don't know. <laughs> oh. And then select this tool and then get it somewhere on the middle. Right now, I don't care much about it. I'll do this stuff later. And then same with the ha handle thing. Uh, get it into like the place we want to. Select it. And then use the move tool to move it. So, yeah. Now, you should be able to basically make like a full gun with it right by now. Uh, make a thick gun. <laughs> and yeah. So, I'm just gonna quickly add some detail, throw stuff here and there. And I'll be right back. And I'll explain what I did. Yeah. So, be right back. 2,000 years later. So, this is the gun that I made. So... Yeah, I just uh, changed the blue to orange, made it a little square, uh, expand, made this platform that you can do, and then I decided to make it a bit more long, add the detail on the edges, and then in future I'll make like a scope here, and I don't know why, but I wanted to add like the shotgun thingy that we have in the games. Now, 
I would recommend adding some effects to it like blue metallic so I'm gonna show you guys how my looks after I add some effects and render it I'm gonna explain how to add them and stuff later so yeah one eternity later so this is the fully rendered out model the time that render takes depends on your CPU and GPU so yeah, as you can see right here I added some bloom on the orange one metallica in the black spots and yeah as you can see right there there's a little bit of reflection as metal have and on here as well so to add that um, you just need to simply select the color so you can go back into mother model thing press alt select the color for example if I want to take black then uh, or white or black or orange or anything then go to render that color will be selected automatically then here you have a couple of options diffuse metal emit glass bl cloud blend so um, diffuse is basically the normal look of the thing metal makes it look metally as you can see right here shiny and here are a bit of materials uh, that you can experiment with I mean variables you can experiment with like roughness IQ or and metallic so normally I would like to raise the metallic of all over 200 IQR I would like to keep it in between and roughness you can experiment with the roughness and shininess and stuff so yeah it's all up to you what you want to do so yeah um, the emit basically makes it to gloom out as you can see right here the orange is emitting so if I want the black to emit I'm just gonna click on emit and then I'm gonna emission like power particles and then power all the way to maximum as you can see it's going super hot red so you can experiment with these variables and stuff and it's gonna emit and then you can experiment with all the variables you have so as you can see it becomes more black now black was not a good choice so in glass it's gonna make it transparent as you can see right here it's a bit rough um, so you can decrease the roughness and transparency it's set to zero I'm gonna do it hundred so that we can see through it as you can see that's how a glass would see but you don't want a gun made out of glass do you so you want to hit enemies with metal right but you need glass and yeah you can experiment with the cloud one also so basically it makes it looks like a cloud yeah they're pre pretty self-explanatory then blend in so it's something like a uh, metal yeah so I would recommend um, experimenting with some stuff making guns trying just try so yeah, in the next um, tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to export uh, uh, the gun with the bloom and all the effects like metallic and stuff into unity and we are gonna use blender for it so make sure you have the blender prepared <laughs> yeah that was a good joke right so yeah that's all we have time for today and goodbye